Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new declutter and a lot of you have requested to see my highlight collection and declutter. So here we are. These are all of my single highlights plus my highlight palettes. So this is everything in my collection. I'm going to be going through deciding what I want to keep or what I want to declutter. I have been doing a declutter on my channel every week for the past several weeks now. So I will link my playlist down below and let's just go ahead and jump into it. So I don't know if I'll be swatching absolutely everything because we do have like this is definitely larger than my bronzer collection and also my blush collection, but we'll just see what's going on. Um, first up, I see this one here from Soul Body. This is one of ColourPop's sister brands, and this is new to me. I think I've only used it one time, so I am going to be keeping this. I did want to share everything in my collection. There's there's only a couple things I think that are newer to me that I would be keeping regardless. Uh, so I've only used this the one time so far. I wasn't absolutely like blown away by it. It does like it. I feel like it swatches really pretty on my finger but then once I actually start to blend it out like it's really hard to see it it's almost just a little bit more gl glittery like it's like sheer but glittery and that's not really my favorite but again I want to use it a few more times to be able to give a full review for it and decide whether I'll keep or declutter it. So I'm going to be keeping this one for now. Along, I have this palette here from Smashbox. This was in collaboration with Casey Holmes. And you have three highlights inside. I'm still a fan of this palette. I don't wear it as much. Honestly, I want to try to declutter most, like, not not all of my palettes, but I do want to declutter quite a few of my palettes out of here because I mostly reach into my singles or my duos now, but I still do like this one. I, I purchased it because Casey Holmes is one of my favorites here on YouTube and I would still like to keep it for that reason. So I'm going to be holding on to that one. Uh, this one here, I have two, actually, let's see, I have these two from ColourPop, but these are both Super Shock highlights. So one is in Flexitarian, and Flexitarian has been a favorite of mine for a while. I've definitely talked about this one a lot on my channel. It is just crazy, crazy blinding, and the Super Shocks do feel like a little bit more on the, like, just kind of a little bit more on the wet side, I would say, but I do really like um, Flexitarian. The other one that I have is on the cusp that is the Super Shock Shadow. I feel like I don't reach for this one as much because I tend to go for Flexitarian, and this one is a little bit more gold, but I still do really like the ColourPop uh, super shock highlights. I think that they're really nice. So I do want to keep both of these, but I thought that I would also swatch this one here next to the one uh, next to Flexitarian. So this is from ColourPop. This was in one of their Disney collaborations and this is in Horse and Carriage. So this is a pressed highlighter versus the super shock, but I wanted to share, I feel like this one and Flexitarian are really close to one another. Now the formulas are going to be different, but shade-wise, I think that those are pretty similar. When I first got Horse and Carriage and I used it, I was I immediately thought of Flexitarian. So I thought I would show you the swatches next to each other. Uh, so I am going to be keeping these. I just, I do like the ColourPop formula, whether it be the Super Shocks or whether it be the pressed highlights. Uh, I am going to be keeping these around. ColourPop though that I'm not really a fan of is this guy here. This is the Flyby Pixie Puff Highlighter. This came out in like their Butterfly collection the with the Flutterby eyeshadow palette, which I really do enjoy. I'm just not really a fan of this. I think you're supposed to be able to use it on like face and body and all of that. But uh, looks like this. It does also come with a puff, which now I'm like not really sure where the puff went to. But I do like. I just feel like it's messy. Um, I didn't really notice a ton with this one. I used it on like my shoulders and and stuff like that, and I just really didn't see much of anything. And again, it's just messy. It's a little bit bigger. I don't have a great place to put it, so I am going to put that one in my past pile. I think the last one that I have here from ColourPop is one of their highlight sticks. This one is in the shade uh, Bullseye. So I'm not a big fan of cream highlighters, but you can see I really don't have a lot. And I've like, I try to keep some cream products in my collection just to have them and just for a variety. So I think I just have one cream and one liquid. So I'm gonna be keeping this one from ColourPop. And this one here from Pixie. This is the Glowy Gossamer Duo in Delicate Dew. This has been a favorite highlight of mine for a while. I love the duos. I love that you get a more pinky side. You also get like a more champagne side. Um, I think that this is great. I've recommended it for a while now. So I am going to be keeping that one. 
Uh, let's see, I want to move over to some of my palettes because I feel like that's where we're going to start some decluttering. So up here, I see this one from Sam Marcel. This is their Luxurious Highlight Palette. Now this one has six highlights in here. I just, six highlights to me these days is a lot. This is a really nice palette. The quality um, of these highlights I do think is really pretty, but especially with the six different shades, like I reach for palettes with this many highlights in it recently. So nice quality, but I'm sure I can pass it on to someone that's gonna get more use out of it than I am going to. So going to declutter that one. Uh, I also have this one from CoverGirl. This is the True Blend Super Stunner Palette. And then this one from Flower Beauty. This is the uh, Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. So I feel like these are really similar to one another and I'm trying to decide if I want to keep one or to declutter both of them. But you can see, like even just shade-wise, like they are pretty similar to one another and I also think that these are great highlight palettes like I really do I would recommend both of them um the formulas are just very much more intense if you like a really beaming blinding highlight I think that you would like these if you like something more natural I honestly would not suggest these because especially with the flower beauty there's been times where I'm like ooh, even I have gone overboard and I like to go overboard with my highlights so with that being said I think you know, I, I feel like I have so many highlights and I know I've kept some affordable ones, you know, just being on YouTube, I try to make sure that I have a variety of affordable and high end and drugstore and, and all of that. But I think that I'm going to be keeping enough highlights that I'm honestly, I'm going to declutter both of these. I just don't read for my palettes as much. So that's what I want to do. That's what I've, the point of my declutters is to try to cut down my collection and get rid of uh, items that I'm not using as much. So it's a little bit hard for me to do, but I am going to have them both be in my declutter pile. From Urban Decay, this is the Afterglow Highlighter in Sin. This is from one of my very first like um, subscribers, Pick My Makeup, or I had people write in their suggestions for products. And so many people recommended this highlight, and I had never used it before. And it is absolutely beautiful, but I just find myself not reaching for it as much. And I think... I think this one also got discontinued I'm pretty sure which made me super sad but it's still I mean it's very beautiful I just know that I don't reach for it I'm going to declutter that one okay let's see this one here this is from dose of colors this is in collaboration with I love Sari E this is the bathe highlight this is a really beautiful pink highlight when I first bought this one I thought it might be too dark on me but honestly I think that it's beautiful I really like the formula in here I reach for this one quite a bit so I'm gonna keep that one and then the other one that I have from dose of colors this was in collaboration with Desi and Katie this is the fuego highlight this one got a lot of attention when it first came out when they brought it back um, I don't like this one as much as I like Bathe with I Love Sarah E, but I still like it. Honestly, to me, this one is a little bit more on the subtle side, I think that I would say. It's more golden, but I still think that it can work nicely for me. But if I want something not quite as intense, that's when I tend to reach into Fuego. So, still like it. I do want to keep that one around. All right, so to keep it moving, I see one of my favorites. I'm, of course, going to be keeping the Natasha Denona Super Glow. I've talked about this one quite a bit. I did a video recently using a full face of my top-ranked makeup. This was the highlight that I used. I think that it's beautiful. I've recommended it for a very long time. Also, of course, I'm going to be keeping my own highlighter with Ofer Cosmetics. <laughs> this is the Start Inspired Highlighter. I recently launched my collaboration with Ofer Cosmetics, and we brought back this highlighter. It was originally the March Beauty Word highlight when I did a favorites collection with them. With my new collaboration, this one was able to come back, come back permanently, and renamed it to Start Inspired. So we have the Pillow Talk highlight, which is more pinky, and then Star Island, which is the Warm Ivory. And these are my two favorite highlights from Ofra. So we put it into its own highlight and I'm so excited. Um, it was a such a wonderful launch day, a different launch day than we were, you know, expecting to have, but still a great one. And thank you to everyone who supported it and, you know, definitely, obviously keeping around, start inspired. 
Okay, all right. Um, so this one here is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Bar of Gold Highlighting Palette. I just had this one recently in, I think it was my shop, my stash, and I decided to keep it, or was it, I, it might have been in my full face of least ranked makeup, actually, and I decided to keep it around. Uh, I still do want to keep it. It's not a favorite, but again, I've tried to, I, I want to keep going through my palettes and decluttering most of them if I can, but this is a very pricey highlight palette. I still really do like Charlotte Tilbury products. Um, so while I can't say this one is a favorite, I still like, I, I just don't want to give it up. And you know, it's my makeup collection. So I get to decide what I keep and what I declutter and I want to keep it. So I'm going to be keeping that one. All right, this here is from Benefit. This is the Dandelion Twinkle. I'm not really a fan of the box packaging with Benefit. Um, this one I really just don't use very much. I think that it's very subtle and I just really don't reach for it. So I'm going to declutter that one. I do also have uh, Cookie and then also Tickle. So I bought Cookie myself um, a while ago. And again, just not a fan of the box packaging. But I think Cookie is a really pretty highlight. And then benefit actually recently sent over their um tickle highlight so i actually like very recently got this one i haven't even tried it out yet so i am going to be keeping it because i i want to try it i want to compare it and see what it's like um against the cookie highlight so i'm going to be keeping these both from benefit and we'll see what i think about tickle here is from wet and wild this is the i'm so lit highlight all right, so this is a loose highlight. Loose highlights, I'm again, not the biggest fan of. I just kind of go for my pressed highlights more. This is super, super blinding though. I remember the first time I tried this in like a trying new makeup video, I was shocked and I had my face be the thumbnail for the video because I was so surprised. This is one that I think that you can also go overboard with, but it is really beautiful, very blinding. Um, but to be honest, I just, I don't reach for it as much these days. I feel like there's other highlights that I go for a lot more. So every time I see it, it's just kind of bigger. Like every time I see it, I'm like, I think that I'd be able to declutter that one. So this one is going in my past pile. Okay. So for my palettes, I think I just have these left. Okay. Let me look at the Ofra Glow Up because I think I have a lot of these that I have kept around. So in the Glow Up palette from Ofra, we have Beverly Hills, Rodeo Drive, Blissful, and Star Island. So Star Island is in my Start Inspired highlighter. And Rodeo Drive, I know I kept in one of my previous declutters. I kept around like a one of my face duos that had Rodeo Drive in it. So I know I have that one. So then we have Beverly Hills and Blissful, but I think with this being like the larger palette with these different shades, and because I'm pretty good on my Ofra highlights, for that reason, I feel like I can go ahead and pass this one on. I think it's a great highlight palette and I really like that mirror and I've gotten, this is actually how I found Star Island. This was the first time I used Star Island was in this glow up palette and I went on to love it. And I kept going back into this palette for Star Island until we came out with the highlight the first time. I have half of what's in here and I'm trying to cut down my palettes. I am going to declutter that one. Okay, so I have this one from MAC. This is the Hyper Real Glow Palette. This is the rose gold one. I still really like this one. I've talked really highly about this palette. I'm not wearing MAC Cosmetics as much these days. Like, not a whole ton of like rhyme or reason there, but I just noticed that there's not been as much catching my eye from the brand, but I still really like this one. Uh, so I think I'm going to, I'm going to keep this one around. Hopefully I haven't been keeping too many palettes, but I'm going to keep that one around. And then my last palette here is from Laura Mercier. This is the Stardust Radiant Glow Palette. I had a subscriber send this over to me and the shades in here are really beautiful. A little bit more toned down than sometimes I always go for, but I also, I don't have a ton of highlights that I keep around that are more toned down. And sometimes, you know, sometimes even I want that look. Uh, and I just, again, I, st I still think this packaging is so beautiful. It caught my eye when it first came out for holidays. I think it was last year uh, and it was a really sweet gift so I am going to keep this one all right so let's keep moving on I have these two from NARS and I have talked about these highlights a lot I have kept them through so many declutters but I just am not really going for them very often lately so this one is Capri which is more pinky and then we have Fort de France which is more of a gold I still really like these I think that they're really nice highlights but I definitely don't reach for them as much as I once did. I got a lot of use out of them for sure. And again, I've talked really highly about them, but when I was pulling everything out and I found these two, I was like, you know, it's been a while and 
I have pinky highlights, I have golden highlights. I'm actually going to declutter both of those. That kind of surprises me. When I went in, I thought I was just going to declutter one, not both. So I'm a little like, dang girl, I can't believe you did that. Uh, this is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a newer item to me, but this is the Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlighter in Pillow Talk. I love this. I've been raving about it. I think that it is so beautiful. I'm not even a liquid highlight fan, and I am such a fan of this one. I think that it is beautiful. Again, just got this recently, but I have, like, I think I put it in my last makeup monthly in my favorites. I highly recommend this, especially if you do love cream or liquid products. I think that you would love it, but for me being a more of a powder girl and still getting on with this one so much, definitely probably shouldn't be surprised that I'm going to be keeping that one. They're almost done. I just have these left. Uh, this one here is from Elsie Cosmetics. This is the Eclipse Highlighter in Luna. I'm going to be keeping this one. It's actually in my current Shop My Stash bag, and oh, we have a dog. Oh, Oh dear, we have a dog. So since this is my Shop My Stash bag, I'm going to be keeping this one. I said I was putting it in there to try it out, see if I wanted to keep it, because it's not like an absolute favorite. So I will be making that decision when that next update video goes live. Uh, one of my favorites, my very first highlight ever, Mare Luminizer from The Balm. I know a lot of people have said this was your first highlight too. I'm kind of Still shocked that I've never hit paint on this one since it was my first and only highlight for quite some time, but she's my girl. I gotta keep Mary Lou around. Okay, I have this one from Pure Cosmetics. This is the Afterglow Highlighter. This is really beautiful, but I just, I don't wear it a ton, and it's very blinding. It's a little bit more like gold champagne-y. And I like it. I like the formula. I think it's really creamy. I think it's very smooth. But I just, like, I can't remember the last time that I've worn this one. So I'm going to declutter this one. I feel okay with that. I really do. I feel okay with that. All right. This one here is from Persona Cosmetics. This is the Cali Glow Highlight in Zuma. This highlight is really beautiful. Slightly, just like ever so slightly a little bit glittery but not too much and again it's it's definitely more golden especially compared to that one from pure cosmetics a little bit more golden still but i still think that it's beautiful so i am going to be keeping the one from persona this one is from over this is the pillow talk highlight i also adjusted my settings because i forgot i filmed the other day when it was really dark i changed my settings so it'd be a little bit brighter and then i'm sitting here filming and i'm like you didn't change the settings so i apologize if it was bright the entire time i will never get lighting perfect i just have to accept it Yikes. Um, but this is the Pillow Talk highlight from Ofra. So originally I was thinking I was going to keep this one because I'm like, it's Pillow Talk and I love it. But I'm like, do I really need to keep a single of Pillow Talk when I have it in my Start Inspired highlight? Probably not. And I know, like, I think I've kept more highlights than I thought I was going to. So I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter this one. I feel like it probably only just makes sense. This is in like the older Ofra packaging and everything but I probably don't need to keep it around. So I am going to declutter that one. Uh, one of my newer highlights here, this is from Jacqueline Cosmetics. This is the Balm Highlight. So this is a loose highlighter. I think this is my only loose highlighter now since I did declutter that one from Wet n Wild. Again, loose highlights aren't my total favorite. This one is a little bit newer to me. Um, I got it like right after the release. So I'm going to go ahead and hang on to it for a little bit longer. I have a feeling I'll probably be putting it in some upcoming videos. Um, so sometimes that's a thing too with declutter. Sometimes I keep things if I know I have specific video topics coming up where I'm going to feature the products because it's easier for me just to feature them than to have to add in the photos. Okay, so I have three left. Can you see them? This one here is from Lawless. This is the highlight. I think that this highlight is really beautiful. Um, I've talked about it quite a bit and I think that's really nice. My L is starting to get pretty worn away and then the A, so that's kind of funny. Uh, so I am going into keeping this one. I'm a big fan of the brand. So keeping that one from Lawless. Next up, this one here is from Laura Geller. This is the Gilded Honey Highlight. This is a mini. So I bought this because so many people raved about the Right, Gilded Honey? Yeah, the Gilded Honey highlight for such a long time. I was like, I have to have it. And I don't really reach for it as much. I think it's really beautiful. Like even that swatch, I think that it's gorgeous, just lovely, but 
I just don't reach for it. So I'm going to declutter it. And then finally, I have the Anastasia and Amrezy highlight. I am going to keep this one. It didn't end up being a 100% favorite of mine, but I do still think that's a really nice highlight. And um, I know this one sold out, came back. I think it sold out again, and a lot of people really do love it. It's not as gold as the Gilded Honey. Um, and still, it's a nice highlight. Not a favorite, like I said, but I still do like it, and I still do want to keep it around. So I'm going to put that one in my keep pile, and then let me pull everything out, and we will see how I did. So this is everything. So this is my keep pile. I'm keeping 23. And then my declutter pile, I'm decluttering 13. So I feel pretty happy about that. Uh, at the end, I kind of look everything over, make sure I'm not getting rid of something I want to keep, keeping something that I feel like I can get rid of. But I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, kind of like halfway through, I was like, man, I don't know if I am keeping, or I think that I'm keeping too much. But looking it over, you know, getting rid of a lot of the palettes that I don't use as much, and then some of the singles that kind of get neglected. Highlighters are one of my things and I feel really happy with the ones that I decided to keep so I'm good with this. Uh, I think we are kind of nearing the end of the declutter series. I'm planning to end it with the lipsticks is going to be my finale uh, and we probably are going to have a couple videos for those but uh, I hope that you have been enjoying it and if you did like this one make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye!